Hi, my name is Kim Atina. This screencast will show you how to hide a Google Calendar that is associated with your Google Classroom. And you may want to do this toward the end of the school year to try to um, clean up some of those um, calendars that are associated with classrooms that you no longer need. So in Google Classroom, you can see these are my classes and I'm going to delete the calendar that is associated with this 1920 GTMS Robotics class. So you need to go to Google Calendar and you will see here on the left side, there'll be many calendars that are created for each of the classes that you created in Google Classroom. So just simply hover over the calendar and click on the three dot menu. Now you can hide it from the list. And if you hide it from the list, it simply just removes it from the list, but it doesn't delete the calendar. So in order to actually delete the calendar, you have to go into um, your calendar settings. So in order to do that, you will go into your calendar settings And you'll notice here on the left side, all of the calendars that are associated with all of the classes that I either created or that I joined. And you can see here that they're not um, visible when I look at my calendar because this icon here is um, displayed. So the calendar really is not deleted, it's just hidden. So if I want to delete this calendar, um, what I'm going to do is make sure I click on that calendar so that you see the name appear here up at the top. And you're going to want to make sure that this is the calendar you definitely want to delete because once you delete a calendar, you cannot restore it. So you go all the way down to the bottom and you click delete under the remove calendar section. And when I do that, it's going to ask me, do you are you sure you want to delete it because you cannot get it back and you click permanently delete and that will remove the calendar from your list in Google Classroom and you can in, in Google Calendar and you can see it doesn't display here anymore. I hope you found that screencast helpful.